Right, here's a little something different for you. Uh, as far as knife collecting goes, I'm still relatively new. Uh, I've only actually been collecting my number one favorite brand. I mean, I have other knives, like some of these. I don't consider them part of my collection, though. Those are just kind of something to fondle with. That's my number one. That is my favorite. Uh, in order from my cheapest one so far. These are not the only Spydercos that I've had, but these are the ones I currently have. Some of them I traded and sold to get more expensive ones, like that one specifically. I traded an Endura and a uh, Manix 2 in order to be able to afford that. But, uh, I mean, money is definitely not limitless for me. But, I do what I can. It's a hobby. Uh, this is the sharpest knife that I have, I think. I have not really even used this one. I mean, you could probably tell by the pocket clip how perfect it is. I've carried this knife probably twice. It's more slow just because I really like the color of the handle. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is an Endura 4. This is the full flat grind. Endura 4 VG10 steel. Outstanding steel. Holds an edge really good and you don't really ever have to sharpen it. You just drop it every once in a while and it stays like a razor. Uh, that is the least expensive knife as far as my collectible or my collection. The ones that I deem personally collectible. This is the cheapest one, but either way, I really like it a lot. That's the brown Endura 4. This is the one that I carry every single day to work, actually. Uh, this is the Endura 4 Emerson Wave. This is not a full flat grind, that is a saber grind. I reprofiled that edge, and this thing is ridiculous sharp. I mean, and it's so easy to keep that way, too. I mean, Every single one of these knives shave. They're really easy to keep shave, keep shaving sharp. But uh, this one gets the most use, and it will just you could shave your face with it like really easily. The VG10 steel again, outstanding. It, you can't really tell. Actually, here you go. This is black, just so you have some contrast. The Emerson is not black it's actually like a really dark almost navy blue kind of color really great knife I love this thing this is the one that gets the most use out of all my knives at least the ones that I carry not the ones that I keep at home I got some fixed blades at home that get used a little bit more by my wife actually but every day at work every single day lots of cardboard lots of plastic great knife very very easy to open if you know what the wave is there's plenty of videos on youtube for you to figure it out definitely would suggest this knife to anybody it's great next in line we have my edc outside of work this is i'm sure everyone that's going to be watching this video has seen this this is a paramilitary too the digital camo variety uh, S30V, this is my favorite blade steel. I have never sharpened this knife, and I've had it for around probably close to a year. And I carry this every single day outside of work, so it doesn't get as hard a use anywhere near as hard a use as this one. I mean, like, look at that pocket clip compared to that other Endura. This thing is in my pocket all day, every day, pretty much. Outside of work, this is what I carry. I'm around kind of gross stuff a lot so I don't want it to get all stuck in the G10 and the texturing on the G10 that's the only reason I don't carry this one every day uh, this is my favorite knife that I own out of all of them every single knife that I own period this is my favorite paramilitary too I, I cannot say enough good about this the lock is my favorite lock also I mean that is outstanding being able to close it like that one-handed it flicks open super easy and it just swings right closed I love this knife so much uh, absolutely my favorite next in line the one that I was just talking about a minute ago had to trade in Endura I had one of the blue Endura 4's and a Manix 2 that 
I sold both of those so I could buy this. I got a great deal on it. I didn't need to get rid of both of those knives, but either way, this is the Spyderco Military. Black, this is the DLC coating. Stands for Diamond Light Coating. DLC Diamond Light Coating. And again, the Digi. I kind of got a thing for camo. I need to get some camo tattooed on me or something. I really like this. This is kind of the Spyderco benchmark. That I just had to have one of these just because it's a... Like I said, it's the Spyderco benchmark. Everybody knows what a military is that knows anything about Spyderco, so I had to have one of these. Super stoked on having this. I play with this with this constantly. Super smooth action. Love that noise when you lock it up. That sound is just awesome. And finally, as far as Spydercos go, the black one that I was showing a second ago, this is a Spyderco Calypso Jr. This is the ZDP 189 uh, 420J2 steel. You can kind of see this line right down here near, near the edge. Right. Yeah, you can see it. Where the core of the blade is actually made of ZDP, and the outside, so from that line up, is made out of 420J2, which is a softer steel. It is softer, however, it's more. Uh, stainless than ZDP. ZDP 189 is not stainless really at all. Like you put lemon juice on it, it's changing colors. Uh, but this is absolutely the smoothest action knife I have. That is ridiculous. I mean, I can't put it into words to describe to, to at least to a point that you would understand just by hearing. But uh, if you ever get a chance to just get one of these hands and just open it once, you definitely need to take advantage of that because this is outstanding I mean it's got bushings in it but that's it I don't understand how it's this smooth uh, actually one example I could give you is one of these Enduras when you open it up again this is locked back just like the Calypso is but when you open one of these once you get to that point where it's about to lock it snaps itself the rest of the way open right there you see that little pop this Calypso, when you open it, you get to this last point. Yeah, that's about the same angle as the last one. Watch it. There's nothing there. You, you'll hear it snap, but you, there's no sensation behind it. It's just there. It, do, it doesn't pull itself into the lock like most lockbacks do. And you can kind of see how smooth that machining is. I mean, you, you can't feel it at all. It's amazing. Nice little swedge kind of deal going across the top of here. Just the whole thing is a work of art. Oops. <laughs> that was stupid. But, uh, this, oh, I got fingerprints all over it. This thing's way too twinkly to have them fingerprints all over it. It's a great knife. Really small. It's super light. There's no liners in it. It's just a it's an FRN handle actually, but uh, there's no liners in it. Plenty strong enough for what you would use this tiny little knife for. I mean, here's it next to the paramilitary too. I mean, there's plenty of videos on this, size comparisons. The para 2 just kind of dwarfs this knife altogether. It's really small. So, that's pretty much that honestly. I mean, Spydercos are really all I collect. The only ones I'm really into, into collecting. But, uh, that's all I got so far. There's definitely emphasis on so far. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.